Hey there, welcome to our channel. Let me ask you a question. What comes in your mind by seeing the heavy prices of software and games, and you needed it in any way? 2. Torrenting it, right? So, watch this video till end, to know how torrent works, and is it legal or not? But, before starting hit the subscribe button to get the interesting videos every day. Torrent may be popularly known as a method of piracy, but it isn't just for pirates. It's a useful, decentralized peer-to-peer -peer protocol with significant advantages over other protocols in many situations. So, Torrent Networking debuted in 2001. A Python language programmer, Bram Cohen, created the technology with the intent to share it with everyone. And indeed, its popularity has taken off since 2005. The Torrent community has now grown to millions of users worldwide in 2009. Because torrents strive to screen out dummy and corrupt files, are mostly free of adware and spyware, and achieve amazing download speeds, torrent popularity is still growing fast. Now let's see, how torrent works. When you download anything from a website, your computer connects to the web server and downloads the data directly from that server. Each computer that downloads the data, it downloads it from the web page's central server. This is how. Much of the traffic on the web works, but, BitTorrent is a peer-to-peer -peer protocol, which means that the computers in a BitTorrent swarm a group of computers downloading and uploading the same torrent transfer data between each other, without the need for a central server. Traditionally, a computer joins a BitTorrent swarm by loading a .torrent file into a BitTorrent client. Then, the BitTorrent client contacts a tracker specified in the torrent file. The tracker is a special server that keeps track of the connected computers. The tracker shares their IP addresses with other BitTorrent clients in the swarm, allowing them to connect to each other. Once connected, a BitTorrent client downloads bits of the files in the torrent in small pieces, downloading all the data it can get. Once the BitTorrent client has some data, it can then begin to upload the data to other BitTorrent clients in the swarm. In this way, Everyone downloading a torrent is also uploading the same torrent. This speeds up everyone's download speed. If 10,000 people are downloading the same file, it doesn't put a lot of stress on a central server. Instead, each downloader contributes upload bandwidth to other downloaders, ensuring the torrent stays fast. Now let's see what is leechers and seeders. Users downloading from a BitTorrent swarm are commonly referred to as leechers or peers. Users that remain connected to a BitTorrent swarm even after they've downloaded the complete file, contributing more of their upload bandwidth so other people can continue to download the file, are referred to as seeders. For a torrent to be downloadable, one seeder who has a complete copy of all the files in the torrent must initially join the swarm so other users can download the data. If a torrent has no seeders, it won't be possible to download and no connected user has the complete file. Now, is the torrent is legal or illegal? Torrent clients, such as uTorrent, views in the official BitTorrent client, are used to download immense amounts of data on the web, and there's no question that much of it is illegal. So, this end up our video here. Hope you like the video, if you like the video then click the like button, and don't forget to subscribe our channel.